Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Guru. Please click on the like, share and subscribe button. Hi friends, in this video we will learn about Linux directory structure. In my last video we will study about basics of shell. This is the directory structure of Relate. There are 19 directories in Relate. On top there is a slash means root. The root directory is the top level directory in the file system hierarchy standard. All other directories are sub directories of the root which is always mounted on the same partition. Means if you are creating some partitions like slash home and slash var partition. If we created some users, the user profile will be moved to the a new partition in the hard drive. But if we are not created that partitions like slash home and slash war, they are automatically mounted in the root partition. Next is slash bin. Essential command line utilities like slash bin, bash, cp, mv. That means when users are used some basic commands to copy the files and move the files, they are used these binary files. Next is slash boot directory. This directory containing the starter files including the Linux kernel. This VM Linux is the kernel of Linux. If you want to testing the kernel or upgrade the kernel, you can increase the size of this partition. Next is slash dev means device. Hardware and software device drivers for everything from property drives to terminals. On this directory, all the hardware devices like CD-ROM, your hard disk, all are found in this directory. Next is slash etc. etc means etc. This directory containing the basic configuration files like etc parswd and shadow etc. Next is slash home. This directory containing the local user profiles like others repurposed user one. That means when you create any local user in the Linux system, the home directory will be created in this directory. Next is slash lib program libraries of the kernel and various command line utilities like firewall D, kernel, RPM, tune, system D, Python. And if your operating system is 64 bit, then slash lib 64 is also available and containing the libraries of the 64 bit. Next is slash media. When you want to access some files which are not available in your computer, you need a medium to access these files. Like if you want to access your syndrome, you have to mount in a directory. You can use this directory to mount this. In this example, we are mounting my syndrome in slash media directory and access these files and folders that are available in my syndrome. Next is slash mnt. You can also use slash mnt directory to mount the syndrome or removable media. Same as slash media directory. Next is slash opt. This is the optional directory. When you are installing some applications like Word Perfect or Star Office or any other application, they will use this directory. Next is slash proc. This proc directory containing the kernel related processes including device assignments such as IRQ ports and DMA channels. In this example, we read the processor which are installed in my computer. Next is slash root. This is the home directory for the root user. This is the super user of the Linux. Means any global change or you can change the permissions for any global change. Root can do that. Next is slash run. This directory contains the runtime configuration. In this directory, separate sub directories can be created for different users and processes. Next is sbin. This is a system administration commands. That means these commands are only run by the root user, like creating partition, check the IP address, or format any partition. Next is slash srv. When you are installing FTP and web server in my system, SUSE Linux will use srv directory. But in Red Hat, they are not using this directory. They are using slash var directory. Next is slash sys. This directory can be used to store information about the state of your system. That means the current state. In this example, we check the partitions that are existing in my system. There is only one hard disk named as SDA, and there are three partitions are existing, and one syndrome is existing in my PC. Next is slash temp temporary files. By default, Red Hat Linux deletes all files in the directory periodically. That means when you are doing some processes, like in this example, we are using my Linux machine in VMware. They are creating some temporary files, and when we shut down the computer, these files are deleted automatically. Next is slash USR. This directory containing small program accessible to all users includes many system administration commands and utilities like bin, lib, lib64, local, sbin, src, etc. And last is my slash var variable data including log files and print spools and this.
This directory is also used when we are configuring FTP or web server in my RHEL 8. That's it about it guys. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.